lots of things motivate me to keep doing what I'm doing here. Certainly one of the big things is to try to protect as much of this amazing planet that we still have uh, for future generations. I'm Max Holmes, president and CEO of Woodwell Climate Research Center, and, and Woodwell is one of the co-founders of the Science on the Fly project. Science on the Fly started six years ago, where we kind of brainstormed about ways we could bring the communities together to engage anglers in the effort to understand and protect rivers. We have Science on the Fly volunteers spread across the U.S. collecting samples in, I don't know, 30 or 40 some states. We have folks in the Arctic collecting samples, South America. There's great power in the data that tell you the status of a river. And then when you identify the problem, that can be of use to lots of different groups. Is it a development signal? Are you seeing pollution from agriculture? Or sometimes we'll see a surprising signal. We can trace it to a problem with a wastewater treatment plant. And those kind of data are super important for policymakers or for citizens on the ground who are trying to figure out how to improve the quality of the water in their rivers. Also, if you archive the data right, it's going to be there forever. And future generations are going to go back to that to understand the planets that they live in then, how things have changed, and also how they can make improvements down the road. There are lots of different ways that climate change is impacting rivers around the world through variations in the hydrologic cycle and the water that flows down rivers that can lead to a flash flood or to drought that we see in many locations. You can also see things that impact the chemistry of rivers. We're starting to detect some of those, then work to trace it back to what the actual driver of that change is. Certainly in the angling community, it's important to keep track of these changes. And I think, for example, trout fishermen know that trout are very sensitive to water temperature and the oxygen content of that water. As we think about the future of angling in rivers, particular cold water angling, and whether we're going to be able to maintain healthy trout populations, we most definitely need to be thinking about climate change and its impacts. What can be done to mitigate that? and what the fly fishing community can do as a community to help be a unified voice for action. Woodwell's mission is science for solutions at the nexus of climate, people, and nature. What sets us apart and what makes us special, not only to have fantastic scientists doing world-class science, but then to connect that science to impact to policy, to try to make a difference with respect to where we're headed with climate change.